That water has begun to recede now in Louisville's Shelby Park neighborhood after a 48 inch water main busted early this morning, sending millions of gallons of water across a six block radius of town, submerging streets and feet of water. This effect felt by businesses throughout downtown. Our Sarah Wagner joining us from the Shelby Park neighborhood. A busy morning for fire and water crews, Sarah. Hey there, Brooke. Absolutely. The water is going down in the surrounding parts, but you can see behind me that is the epicenter of where this happened. We're at the center or the intersection rather of Oak and Clay. And when this mess started around 730 this morning, it really hasn't stopped in this section. You can see that geyser, that area behind me. And we're told at one point that was shooting about eight feet up into the air and obviously causing a mess all around it. There are cars having water around them and it's uh, an impressive sight for sure, but one that emergency crews have been working hard to put a stop to. It's the sight and sounds you never want to see or hear in your neighborhood. I heard a loud banging on my door. I mean, it was a panicked banging and I opened it up to my neighbor, Jackie, screaming, you got to move your cars, you got to move your cars. Um, there was water rushing down the street. Um, it was it wasn't anything like I've ever seen. Um, I've seen some floods and stuff, but nothing like this. Shelby Park transforming from streets of homes to a river of sorts. We have closed down a perimeter of about four to six blocks. A massive water main break causing flooding for blocks and blocks spreading from the streets to front yards, damaging everything in its path. My house is full of water and my yard, the cars around the surrounded by water. Three people had to be rescued from their cars, including a JCPS bus driver. Louisville Fire now asking the community to steer clear of this area. I, I ask not to treat it as a spectacle and try to be attracted or drawn to it and want to see what's going on. You need to stay away from a scene like this because, you know, water flowing at that rate of speed uh, uncontrollably uh, if you're putting yourself in a very, very dangerous situation. A situation now left to Louisville water to handle and clean up. So this is an extremely large pipe carrying millions of gallons of water and we need to look at the pipe and figure out exactly what kind of damage that we're dealing with. Um, the cleanup could take a few days. It could take a few weeks. And Louisville Water says it is working very hard to get that last valve shut off right now. They're hoping to have that done within the next 30 minutes or so. And after that does happen, you will see that geyser start to slow down. And we do want to mention that a tow truck has just pulled up to this intersection of Oak and Clay to try to get these cars out before they do go underwater. So definitely some good progress right here. And Louisville Fire and Water does tell us that this is one of the bigger breaks they've seen in the city. So they are working very hard to get a stop to that. Of course, we will have updates for you throughout the day and the rest. Red Cross is helping out anybody affected by this. We have those numbers for you on social media, so you can definitely call them if you need any assistance. But for now, reporting live in Shelby Park, Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News.